when police officers turn into savage mode, like they click on into savage mode, you cannot tell expect, where it's going to go. You don't know what, what to expect yeah. at all. So are we going to reenact this? Go ahead. Okay. Who am I? Am I going to be the one who got choked out or am I going to be the one doing the choking? I'm going to be the one getting choked out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, all right. Uh, guy with the uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> handcuffs. I'm going to say a couple of N words. N, N, N. Give me your phone, you N, 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 N. I'm going in. and I'm. Hey, hey, bad idea. Bitch. Get your hands off of me. I'm about to choke your ass out. Please don't do that. This is me choking you. <laughs> <laughs> you're, not, you're not strong enough. Wax on, wax off. <laughs> you're fired. Um, oh, I'm sorry. You're going to get due process. Then you're going to be fired. Exactly. And, um, and scene. Finn. <laughs> <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> thank you, listeners. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Emmy nominations. say that was rated... PG-13. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Diva Court. We are here. I'm your host, Marcia Mignot, and with me is my co-diva, Dana. Tire slashing, weight losing Smith. All right, don't you forget it. Okay, forget it, but don't <laughs> forget it. Forget it. <laughs> That's how you got to pronounce it phon- with phonics. It's phonics. Oh, my God. As I was saying that, with phonics. <laughs> as I was saying that, I was like, this is not about to come out right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're not responsible phonics. for the things she's going to say. I'm hook. Hook. Oh, phonics. It's a whole. Nor are we responsible for what we're going to talk about. I need to get Do y'all see phonics. me just pushing, pushing, pushing <laughs> through? She, can you, is hooked on phonics still in business? Because um, there's a whole like commercial with the white boy. He'd be like, hook. And he do these little dance moves. Okay, that must be on YouTube from the day back in no, it's, the it's day. A up, it's up to date. Father, remember, listeners, this show is for edutainment purposes only. See, even she pronounces. You can wrong. tell. You can tell that <laughs> the hook don't find it start wrong today. But she the one over here saying edutainment. D- d- look, she didn't study. <laughs> and you can tell she didn't study because this show is off to a fantastic start, <laughs> people. We are keeping it real, live, and direct. All right. Coming from the diva side over there. Let's do it. Please look for our episodes (laughs) every Wednesday. (laughs) Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Find us on Spotify. Spotify. Apple Podcasts. Apple. And Google Podcasts. Google. Be sure to catch our videos each week on YouTube where you can catch all the colors. Yes. Because you notice that we're keeping the colors coming for you every week, listeners. For those who are listening to us via radio, check us out on video. Nice. This show is sponsored by Cutie Nails and Spa. Hey, Cutie. Cutie Nails and Spa is in Midtown offering manicures. Manicures. Pedicures. Get your toes done. Facials. Some of y'all need them. And lashes. All right now. Enjoy a spa experience at Cutie Nails and Spa and let a team of cuties take care of you. Promo code. Cutie Court. There you go. Just walk in there and be like, Cutie Court. Yes, please do that so they can know that Diva Court is pushing it out for them. Yes. Every week. Topic number one. Listeners, a male officer in Broward County, Florida, grabs another female officer by the throat when she attempts to pull him off of a suspect. You know, I think. Did you see the video? I did see the video. I think when he was pulling up in his ride, he was listening to Three Six Mafia. (laughs) Whoop that trick. Whoop that trick. Get him. Did you realize he was Caucasian? He, you think Caucasians don't listen to Three Six Mafia? Uh, maybe not whoop that trick. Uh, 
it's, it was a Grammy. He got an Oscar for that song. An uh, Oscar? Mm-hmm. I thought those were for acting. No, but it was on a movie. Oh, okay. So it's an Oscar for the movie song. For the movie song. Okay, yeah. well, edu- edutain me. Purposes. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Only. <laughs> <laughs> you see how we did that? Click. Teamwork, make the dream work. <laughs> this officer, ladies and gentlemen, was rogue. He was in the car. That and might they have would, been his girl, though. Like, you she know gotta, what? They she can't would, just, like, you can't just be. Are you serious? He was dating that officer? Or he might have thought it was somebody. Allegedly. Like, allegedly. Or he may have thought it was That was some, his girlfriend? It could have been. Reminded and him of his to, date? And he had to let her know, like, don't be running up on me when I'm handling business. Wow. You don't think that is domestic violence between officers? Hey, I didn't say it wasn't. I'm just saying. Like, he was too comfortable. Like, she'd been choked a couple of times before. Wow, she just reacted so normally? It was just like. Wow. Like, honey, stop. I don't know. She she put her defensive swings on Did that. she go like this? No, I think she did the swipes. You know the swipes they teach you? Oh. You talking about, like, on Karate Kid? Yeah, yeah. Wax on? Wax off. Wax off. She waxed them on and off. Well, hey, she was doing something. Well, she <laughs> waxed them off of that suspect, which is good, because it was about to be another ass. George Floyd incident. Oh, yeah. She saved him. She did. She, she really did. did. She, she should, saved him from he prison. She her. Did she save him from prison? Yes, she did, because I think he was going to He's kneel. He's going to jail, but on he the going to prison. longer jail? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> we, she saved him from oh, murder charges. Murder charges. <laughs> murder charges. He just so let's clarify talk. for our listeners. <laughs> that female officer saved that Broward officer from murder charges because he really appeared as if he was going to kill the suspect. I can't imagine what he was saying. Can you imagine Can what we, he was saying? Let's reenact it. No, Run. Wait. Huh? <laughs> Before we get into this. Um, great, great piece of art that's about to take place. <laughs> it's great. Are we gonna Maybe Oscar really? worthy. <laughs> Maybe. Emmy, I'll, Emmy, I'll, we I'll, are a podcast. We're not a movie. Okay. We're not a movie. Yes. So I guess it would be Emmy. Yes, it'd okay. be too short. I don't know. Maybe we'd be considered in the short film section. Maybe. Because um, it know was going to be a if movie. If he was going to kill him, well, there was definitely going to be some prep spray sprayed. Well, look, if it who escalated thought, further, for look, sure. Who would have thought we, George Floyd would have been killed? You know what I'm saying? To me. Who would have thought that young man would have been shot? I'm going to spray you. I'm going to pepper spray you. Pop, yeah. pop, pop. I'm a taser, taser, taser. I'm, she was screaming exactly. taser while she was using a gun, so pepper when, spray don't mean he's not going to get his gun. When police officers turn into savage mode, like they click on into savage mode, you cannot Tell expect, where it's going to go. You don't know what, what to expect yeah. at all. So are we going to reenact this? Go ahead. Okay. Who am I? Am I going to be the one who got choked out or am I going to be the one doing the choking? I'm going to be the one getting choked out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, all right. Uh, guy with the uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> handcuffs. I'm going to say a couple of N words. N, N, N. Give me your phone, you N, 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 N. I'm going in. and I'm. Hey, hey, bad idea. Bitch. Get your hands off of me. I'm about to choke your ass out. Please don't do that. This is me choking you. <laughs> <laughs> you're, not, you're not strong enough. Wax on, wax off. <laughs> you're fired. Um, oh, I'm sorry. You're going to get due process. Then you're going to be fired. Exactly. And, um, and scene. Finn. <laughs> <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> thank you, listeners. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Emmy nominations. We say that was rated... PG-13. It was 13? I thought it was PG-18. <laughs> <laughs> these parents let these kids watch anything. They really do. They really do. <laughs> these kids be watching Listen to me. I, I just I just cannot understand. It's true. <laughs> I don't but, know what be these parents be doing. They're not parenting. I can yeah. tell you that. Well, there is that. <laughs> but, but, but for the police, the fraternal order of police in the state of Florida, to want to focus on how the chief of police responded to the incident the nev of you Chief by of being officer. upset that he commented on the conduct of this officer although video footage was there prior to the investigation being complete what part of that video did you watch with him choking that female officer fraternal order of police in florida broward florida that would be that you thought 
needed a pause by the chief of police before he condoned it. <laughs> I mean, before he 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 didn't condone it. They got the they got the money. Whoever got the money got the no. Power. But you watch that video and you say no. He shouldn't have commented. Wait, wait, wait. He shouldn't speak out about the violence I'm, against the female officer. I'm pretty sure that the person who put out that statement, and when I say put out, not the one who handed it out to the, the one who wrote it, the one who wrote it probably has a history of doing the same thing. Like, <laughs> hold on now, don't be before putting out business in the street before you rush to judgment. Right. <laughs> Hold on. I just did that yesterday. I just tripped on her neck with my hand. <laughs> yesterday? <laughs> right. She fell down the stairs into my fist. You know? Crazy. He probably yeah. has his own. And I'm pretty sure it's a he. Look, <laughs> it had to be a gentleman that wrote that they had a problem. Fraternal Order of Police had to be a gentleman that was upset about the chief of police coming out and saying, that's wrong. That's always wrong. That's never going to be right. And there's never a right way to do that wrong thing. I'm just saying, your curls is like really popping right here. I'm just watching. I'm shake. glad you're paying attention to curls. See how distracted she is, <laughs> listeners. I'm just she saying. is baiting you all to go to YouTube to look at the video <laughs> so you can check out my curl. That's really popping. That's called on the PR. left side of my face. That's okay? called PR. Unlike Governor Newsom. <laughs> you see how I did that transition? <laughs> California governor people, <laughs> this diva wants to transition. <laughs> governor Newsom creates a gun bill similar to the Texas abortion law. What I like about what Governor Newsom did is he used the statements of the governor of Texas and lined through the word abortion and put gun and lined through the word Texas and put California. I thought that was creative. What I don't like is that when I read the title of the article, I was thinking, oh, he about to go in. And then when we actually discussed what he actually did, I was like, oh, that's weak. Well, it's just not like that weak ass. Wait, you think the legislation is weak? Well, I didn't really read it. Read it. Okay. But, <laughs> but when I'm reading the it's article. It's weak because I didn't read it. <laughs> when, I'm, when I'm reading the article, I did, we did go over to Texas um, gun, a Texas abortion. A synopsis of what we the, the, authors, the right. author of right. the article said. Right. So we'd have so, to believe the author. Right. So when I'm reading the article, it's, it sounds like, oh, yeah, Governor Newsom, he did. Governor. Governor. Is that governor and his first name put together? It's Gavin. <laughs> <laughs> Just had a dyslexic moment. <laughs> Shout out to all of my people who have dyslexic moments every once in a while. I thought that was your hooked on phonics, not hooked. <laughs> No, that was more my dyslexia that you tend to make fun of. But oh, anyway. really? <laughs> really? You, you want to play victim? Uh, <laughs> she said, let me create a storm and complain that it's raining. <laughs> you know, you have a habit of talking about my... I have a habit of trying to hold you accountable. Ill your illiteracy. You know, I have issues. You know, with I'm illiterate and she's upset. <laughs> As I'm saying... No, with my illiteracy. You have a problem with it. It would be your literacy. But if you are illiterate, I would have a problem with that. Right. I'm saying like I. She's she's already uh, succumbing the ground. So what, what you're, <laughs> what you're we, trying to fight on is the literacy. Ground. Right. I'm yeah. What she's there. saying is no. I'm illiterate. Okay. We've already retreated back <laughs> to the South. That's exactly where I was going. The war is actually. I'm, thank you. Over. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know Stop firing. You, yeah. I'm there. Stop honey. firing. I'm there. Stop firing shots. And then I realized, no need to put out 80 bullets, 90 bullets. Uh -uh, the, the suspect is dead. She there. She there. <laughs> she already there. I'm just giving up. So now if I say whatever, y'all can't hold me to it. Okay. <laughs> I say whatever because I'm illiterate. But as I was reading that article. <laughs> we're not responsible. <laughs> as I was reading the article. <laughs> Backwards. <laughs> and sideways. Now she used the pictures. <laughs> oh, okay. I was just feeling it. Hence, how we had to reenact. <laughs> <laughs> this show is off the rails. <laughs> yes, let's let's put it back on the rails. Okay, if there's such a thing. <laughs> so, all right, brain, it's a little, a little foggy up there. But anyways, it stays foggy up there. <laughs> <laughs> Only I can make fun of me. <laughs> but anyways. As I was... I'm not laughing at her, <laughs> listeners. I'm laughing with her. There's a difference. She is. She definitely is. They go, they go start. You're just so mean to yeah. Dina. <laughs> You're just so mean to her. Her support group is going to come for yes. me. <laughs> Ooh, what would my support group name? You know how Beyonce has like the... 
Beehive. Beehive. Maybe I can have the or tight D-hive? slashers. She's got D hives. No, I don't she want D hive. I want Dana, the Dana and the slashers. Dana, yes, Dana and the slashers. Hey, I like it. I like it. All right, slashers. Let me give you Michelle's email address. And let me point you to some tires. <laughs> when you see that flag are coming, <laughs> don't you turn back and start a running. You get that slash. <laughs> I love it. Just run like you do when you're running from the insurrection. <laughs> run out of the building. Get your knives. All right, back to governor. Hide governor. your wives, hide your kids, and get your knives. <laughs> <laughs> they slash it up all the time. <laughs> I'm back to California governor, Gavin Newsom. We need to make this show a little bit longer. Gun bill. <laughs> because I just, I just glazed past the office again, choked out. <laughs> right over to Newsom. <laughs> Because we're trying to make the cur- That's why I'm not supposed to be, you know, doing the transition. <laughs> yeah, she's not allowed to do the transitions any what? longer. Because she, but she you don't volunteer. I did, I did. <laughs> if I had to involuntarily withdraw, she resigned. <laughs> she resigned. Wait, if I involuntarily withdraw, that means I didn't do it on my own. <laughs> Okay, that's. This. I need to voluntarily. Like, maybe we control. need to drink the something. Something. I haven't started I'm, drinking yet. I'm gonna drink the Newsom, <laughs> Gavin, and his. I ain't drinking to him. <laughs> I'm drinking to the officer who is trying to wax off, wax on. I'm drinking to the officer. I'm just drinking because I don't know what I'm drinking to anymore. Can we drink to the officer? To the female officer. Yes. Who Kudos to her who did yeah, not let's lose give her, her cool. Some props. She stopped a, a chauvin moment. Drink to her. Ooh, that is not a drink, honey. I was thirsty. That's a goat. It quenched my thirst. I guess it did. Maybe it'll clear up your speech. So can you? Can you tell? All us, right, slashers. Can you tell us what the governor had upset you with? Because maybe it wasn't. A, I mean, the way the governor was just going in, I thought that. Between me briefly watching his video and glancing over and this briefly article. reading an article no, and not reading no, his no, bill, no, now honey. I can sit in judgment. No, of honey, him. you're giving me too many credit. Glancing over, <laughs> like here's the article title. This sounds great. Send. <laughs> and as y'all read it to me, <laughs> I'm, I'm judge. <laughs> As y'all read it, you to said me. I'm judging the governor based on a glance. <laughs> yes, I, just, okay. I felt like it didn't go hard enough. You can't judge the man by an article. Oh, by you have glance. to read the bill. <laughs> Can you read the gun bill? I the wanted law? when. Okay, so I was under the pressure when he said, and I, I took the governor's, and I'm thinking he's saying bill, and I crossed out abortion, and I put gun. And then I crossed out Texas and I put California. What if he did do that when you read like the bill? That's what he did for the bill. What What if he did? No, when, when you finally read it, y'all read it back to me. I'm sorry. Said, when When somebody finally reads it to you, <laughs> what if he did? When y'all read the article to me, it was not just the article. A statement on Twitter. Not the was article. It a statement on Twitter. The bill. Oh, it was even. It was just a statement on Twitter. I said. When you read the bill, what if he did just ain't scratch out? I got time for that. I don't have to worry about that. I don't live in California. <laughs> so you're not, you're not going to read that I bill? I'm not going to read the bill. <laughs> uh, California, they're loopy doopy. I love California. Shout out to San Jose. <laughs> Shout out to my listeners in San Jose, California. Yes. Diva Court loves you. Keep watching. Keep listening. We keep do. looking. Tell us what you want us to talk about because we talk about California. Yeah, because I just, California. I mean, I, I believe that they would love for their gun laws to be a little bit more stricter. I was just saying Governor Newsom should have made a stricter bill. You don't know, Diva. You didn't read his Well, law. if he, let me just Did say you this. read the intention of the law? Let me just say this. If it was that harsh, I would have heard it on 95.5. But, <laughs> wow. But do you. On do talk you, radio? Yeah. Do you. Ain't nobody you know talking about it. the intent behind the law. I mean, you know, they're trying to uh, send it up to the Supreme Court. What you said? He to intended how, to pass law? <laughs> no. I, see how, uh, how much leeway they got when it comes to. You guns. said the intent was to pass law. That you was the intent. No. I, I said, well, you know, they were trying to send it up to the Supreme Court to see how much room they have with gun laws. 
That's what oh, I you was think thinking. that's what the intent was? Yeah, it was to get somebody to appeal it to get it all the way up yeah. to the Supreme Court. Like how according Texas, to him, it's it's supposed to be about a test run, testing that limit because they didn't stop the Texas bill where right. an outside exactly could affect the thing. Hence, they wanted to test how far they could go with. Okay, let's test on things. in. Hence. I guess I did glance at it because that's what I surmised. Nobody. Oh, no. you see what she just used? Did she say smile? Surmised. Mm, Surmiles. No, that one was in the mirror. We worked that one out. Oh, okay. But <laughs> can I give you the finger <laughs> on camera? <laughs> we were in the gym. No, because you rated it PG-13. <laughs> I know. Next time the show will be rated R, so I can give you a couple <laughs> seconds. <laughs> there was a- yes, so that's what I surmised. So, you know, so now it makes even more sense because there's no possible way. So that- he probably did do exactly what no, Texas did. he could That's what you would do if you're trying to test the law. But that's And that's why I thought he did. But you still have not read I know, the- but what y'all said was that it was just like. Y'all said, wait, 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 slow your roll. We have off camera, off a camera. Off a camera. I was thinking of Kamala, oh obviously. Did I say her name right? Off camera. I was, I was about to call camera. <laughs> her. I can't. I said that right, right? <laughs> Listeners, I cannot with them today. Camera Harris. <laughs> I guess it's better than Kamala. She got to do better. She got to do better. I guess she better. I guess it's better than Kamala. I was closer. (laughs) Camera Harris. Camera. (laughs) That's just as bad. (laughs) Camera Harris. Camera Harris. Vice President, I apologize. You don't look like you can breathe. (laughs) On behalf of Diva Court, I want to apologize to Vice President Kamala Harris. Her mama needs to apologize for, the to her for making her name so damn difficult. That code diva Dana <laughs> cannot get your name right. All you had to do was the last chapter of Booked on Phonics, <laughs> and you would have got her name. <laughs> I'm, not used to, I'm not used to it being spelt like that, okay? Like, I had a client come in, and her name is spelled C-A-R-A. So what do you think her name was? We're waiting. I'm K- waiting. Kara or Kara? I thought it was Kara. Yeah. It's Kara. It's definitely Kara. Though. It's definitely Kara. Yeah. But every time. You see how I let off I with always the correct go the one opposite. first? Like, I'm like, yeah. I bet you her name is Kara, but this time it's going to be Kara. Hey, Kara. Who is Kara? Damn. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm used to Kara being spelt with a K. Because my best friend's daughter's name is Kara. And it's spelled with a K. And it's spelled with a K. So when I see it, so when I see K and her name is K-A-M. So are you engaging in staria decisis in name pronunciation? Straight up. And that would make sense. Not permitted. Kamala. said you say that again. Like if her name start with a C. Decided. Staria decides. If her I said it right. No, Starry no, decisis. No, no, he was saying that um, you probably said. Did you? No, no, no. Starry decisis, and I said it properly when we discussed it. Oh, okay? so she went to the last chapter on hooked on finance no, for that word. When I know what I'm talking about, I speak very clearly. So once it start getting mumbled, I have no clue what I'm <laughs> saying. I'm just making it up as I go. <laughs> That's been her whole show <laughs> Today, for two seasons. I'm of just Diva making it up as I go. But no, um, yeah, if she would have spelled it with a C. I would have called her Kamala. Look, that's her name, right? Vice President it Harris. It is Kamala, right? We 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 Kamala are, Harris. That's on, what I said. Kamala. On behalf of Diva Court, the entire crew, we'd like Kamala to apologize. Harris. I said Kamala. We know how to say your name, Kamala Harris, and we are happy you are in your. I think seat. she changed her name once she uh, became Vice President. They weren't calling wait, her wait, Kamala. Wait, 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 wait. Do you have any evidence? Or, or is that facts not in evidence? Or when she actually got some profile, she was like, you actually say my name like this. That and might y'all be wrong. Well, the problem is, and that's why I don't really care for her, because she don't speak up when it's necessary. Wow. Do you have evidence of that, man? Yes. Yes, what, what, I do. What, what when did she get the chance to go in the Fox News and be like, it's yeah. Kamala? The black community was calling her Kamala. 
Hence why I Which is right. called her. Yeah, you called it right. Kamala. You finally said it right. <laughs> she like, said it right. You said it right you when you wanted to right. say it wrong. Well, Kamala. <laughs> no, they was calling her Kamala. You know we was calling her Kamala. No, you said it right. You can no, watch. No, no, she's, uh, she's trying to blow past that one. <laughs> yeah. All right, yeah. she's trying to get you, past that. You statement. said it right. Said it right. Yes, you it did. Just, it seemed kind of easy. No, no, it, 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 it is. Easy. It was. It is. And yeah, it is easy. It's just that Kamala. easy. When, when you watch that last chapter of Hooked on not, Phonics, it's like when I all think the about words it, get easy. No, it's like when it, first of all, that is not phonetically spelled properly. Oh. Did I say that so right? So how, how, how would you <laughs> spell it? Phonetically? That's not how phonetics work, but yes, you did say phonetics correct. Okay. Yes. I'm just saying. How yes. would you spell it? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Phonetically. <laughs> Phonetically. <laughs> I'm using that all week. It's phonetically. Phonetically. It's not spelled phonetically. She ran that question. Yes, she did. Okay. <laughs> that was off the top of the dome. Okay, let's talk about the dome. Wait, Steve Bannon out. is wait, going wait, in. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> the phonetics was off the top of the dome? No, the word. Phonetically. Oh, uh, no, no. I didn't have to I, think about I, that No, one. you did an attempt earlier. You had some practice. Oh, I did practice. Is that, is that the one I got wow, wrong the first time? Wow. Yes. Wow. Wow. <laughs> so it wasn't. That was second two. <laughs> she learns. See there? She learns so quickly Fast that learner. she thinks she made it up herself. Fast learner. That's the... that's Short memory. She'd be a good kicker. No, yeah, I was going to say right. more so like that's probably like the little... Um, let me stop. Yeah, that's the colonizer. Stop. Please in me. Stop. That's why she's good. At that's slashing. the colonizer. I got like maybe a one percent taste of the colonizing. Colonization. Okay. okay. Colonization. I can say colonization. Oh, because you've been practicing that too. Nah, I just know a colonizer when I see one. <laughs> <laughs> Even if it's in the mirror. Shut up. <laughs> Don't let this blonde hair fool you. Huh? Oh, it ain't fooling, girl. You showing that blonde? <laughs> <laughs> I love to come back. You got a couple highlights in there too, honey. Hey, ain't nobody fooled over there. Ain't nobody Trust fooled over me. there. I see them Trust blind pieces. Me. You put them in. That's I why you see them. I sure did. I sure did. And you love them too. Yes, because they, <laughs> they, they make people not pay attention. <laughs> oh, she blind. She got something. It's a distraction. It's a distraction. And then I just come out rolling, punching, left and right. Right Maybe that's left. why my speech is a little off because I got too much. Yeah, you, hey, you got to tone that down. Next time you go to the shop, please. Maybe. I might I might make it like platinum. Okay, let's talk about the <laughs> platinum time that um Steve like Bannon like storm off of uh X-Man. Okay. Mm. Steve Bannon I was found guilty. <laughs> Listeners, I'm trying to move on to the topic, but she won't let me. Guilty. Yes, I like that verdict. Okay. Steve <laughs> Bannon has been found guilty of contempt of Congress. Mm. Mm. Hmm. How much time do you think he'll get, Diva? Um, is the judge, does he lean left or right or center? I think you need to lean to max. Left, right, center is a really cool game to play. I'm just saying. Uh, could you stay focused? We're okay. talking about the judge and Steve Bannon. No, I'm really curious now. Can you please tell me what the hell this game is? <laughs> so left, right, center, right, it's like these dice. And one says left, one says right, and one says center. So you have like... You don't want to gamble, but if you did, you could have like money, like maybe dollars or five dollars, or if you bought like Monopoly, like, no real money. Oh, and so you have money. They come with like little, little, what are you, tokens that you could use if you don't want to use money. And what you do is, you if it says left, you give a dollar to the person on your left. If it says right, you give a dollar to a person on your right. If it says center, you put it in, in the middle. So whoever at the end is left over with money left in their hand, they get the whole pot. So is the center person getting the center? No, there's no one in the center. So it's just a wait, money wait, pot. Wait, wait, wait. So center. I play, but I'm I'm just giving away money and I don't get none. You have so let's say everybody starts with five dollars. So why I can't be center? You can if you're the last one standing, you get center. So, so how you get the last one standing? It's like free parking. You have you have money left. Yeah, whoever has money left. But I, I'm the one giving out the money, and it didn't sound in there that I could win any. You do. It's it's probably it's probably she don't know how to explain that game. <laughs> no, but it's like no, it's a really fun game. But moving on, it's so much fun. That it is, yeah. Cause I, I don't want to play it, and I be getting all the money, honey. Because um, sounds like the person in the center handing money to the left and no, the right don't get nothing. You're in a circle. Okay. You're in a circle. It's a circle of people. So how do we know when it's my time to give the money? You roll the dice. So if I roll the dice, I give the money to the left or the right. 
the left or the right. Okay. Yeah. And then the next person rolls the dice. So they're either giving you money to the left or the right. So and how I, does the game end? When you run out of money. Everybody runs out, out of money. Yeah. Eventually, everyone is, runs out of money, and the person who has money left over. At the end. At the end. Okay, now money. that makes sense. Yeah. So Bannon ain't going to have nothing left. So you can... <laughs> He going left, right, and center into the jail <laughs> because he was found guilty. And the maximum sentence, I wish he had more time that he could serve. The maximum sentence is two years. Why do you want him to serve? Because I just think he's disrespectful you, to the process. I think he's hurtful to the country. To the I think even after he got found guilty, he was talking smack about going medieval on the prosecutor and all that so stuff. You don't, I think he created more charges. That's terroristic threat no, on a federal officer. He found, Go back and charge him with something else. He was found guilty. He said he was going to go medieval prior to getting the He charges. was still on Fox News after being found guilty because he hasn't been taken into custody after being found guilty. So he's still talking yeah. smack. So should he not be able to speak anymore? He, he, he shouldn't get paid gifts? Listen to me. A judge, once you have been found guilty, can use your conduct in aggravation of sentencing. So you should allow him to continue. You should be happy that he's still talking. That's my point. Hopefully the judge is listening and we'll be able to say to him, like they say to most defendants, you showed absolutely no remorse for your conduct. I'm going to give you the maximum sentence with a smile on my face. Well, he said got up to two years. Well, the feds need to seek an upward departure. I think an upward departure would be warranted based on the fact that while he was facing charges, he was threatening to go medieval That's not on the what, prosecutor. Oh, well, yeah. While he was prior. Charges, yeah, he prior was facing to. charges. His case hadn't been tried yet. And you're threatening medieval? What, you going to chop off somebody's head? Is that not a threat? Is that not a terroristic threat? That's an everyday uh, conversation that, you know, those kind of people have. Oh, okay. Well, those kind of people are above the law. Is that what you're saying? I mean, evidence will show the truth. I would like you to go outside right now and threaten to chop off somebody's head. I'm not those kind of people. Oh, honey. okay. <laughs> I don't I'm have, glad you know you're not those kind of people. I don't have that privilege. <laughs> I don't have that privilege. Yeah, that's a threat, and you cannot make a threat against a federal officer and a you prosecutor. You have to feel threatened in order for... Terroristic threats? Do You have to feel threatened in order for... You know. So after January 6th, you don't think a federal prosecutor should no, feel I'm threatened? I'm just saying, like, what if, like, a baby was like, I'll go medieval? You're like a little baby, like a six-year-old. Well, there is an element in some statutes that require that the threat be imminent. <laughs> <laughs> the bodily harm has to be imminent. Some statutes will even say it has to be reasonable, mm -hmm. and it cannot have a condition proceeding. So if I become a millionaire... I will go medieval and chop your head off. Well, she's poor as dirt. So she put a condition proceeding in front of it. Mm. And you knew she wasn't a millionaire. So you knew she wasn't. But maybe medieval. The threat wasn't imminent. That's maybe what I Maybe medieval is the preceding condition, right? Because who has. Uh, no, medieval is the act. Who I'm has, going to go medieval on who you. Who has a. A uh, a chopper. Eighteen hundred seventy-two. Well, he didn't axe. say I'm gonna go medieval with an eighteen hundred axe. If he did that, then you could argue the threat was not imminent because you didn't think he would have that kind of axe. But if you were the prosecutor, you could still say, "Well, we haven't searched his home, and he does have one on the wall as a souvenir." Nice, nice. That's what's up. So, Bannon, we hope you get Bannoned. A lot of time. Ooh. Maximum. Play on words. Yes. <laughs> All day. Every day. And once on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the final synopsis of the January 6th commission occurred. How many people do you think is watching this? Uh, A lot of people. They, they were smart. With this one, they put it on prime time. Do you think Seven. Trump supporters are watching this? No, they're not watching this stuff. They don't want to see the truth. If they watch it, they're going to, they have to watch clips so they can say, that don't look like the real Ivanka. That could be a clone. What y'all got clones? <laughs> no, nah, that sounds like y'all. That's a clip. Y'all monitored the clip. They couldn't handle the truth. I think if they saw it, it's like their heads just explode like. <laughs> <laughs> what the six said. The January 6th commission said they show footage of Donald Trump saying 
No, no, I can't say the election is over. <laughs> I'll say Congress certified the election, but I will not say the election is over because they were giving him a speech. You could hear Ivanka's voice in the video footage shown. Just say this, just say that. She was trying to tell him mm -hmm. to say things to stop the people. Say this, say that. He was like, nope, can't say that. Nope, not going to say that either. And after all those hours of coming up what he should say, he said something completely different. We love you. We know you got to go home, but you shouldn't have to. <laughs> Burn it down, but don't tell him I said it. <laughs> and don't hang. Yeah, don't Trump. hang Mike, yeah, Mike, Pence. Mike Pence. With the blink. Today. Wait, <laughs> wink, wink, wink. Don't okay. hang Mike Pence. It was horrible. <laughs> the evidence was that he was watching television. Three hours went by. He wouldn't do anything because he was happy about what they were doing. He, was he said they were Antifa. He sure did. So that means he supports Antifa. <laughs> and he felt like what happened was accurate. So he's still guilty. <laughs> You're still the leader, sir. Because you said they were great people. You love them. You love Antifa. I mean, it is amazing to see that kind of evidence. And people still try to come up with justification. Because nobody wants to be wrong. That's where the money resides. When you have a network that knows You really that think I the have... people supporting him are the millionaires? Um, what I'm saying is you have a network that knows they have a niche of people that are going to watch their shows. Or you don't think it's it. just about votes? Oh, you're saying that the, the, the commercializing of it, like the people like Fox News and yeah. all the other networks just, that are making money off of these yeah, people. They, they don't believe in this stuff. They just capitalize off of it. That makes sense. Yeah. That makes That's, sense. They go on where the money resides. Somebody has to feed that niche. If you can find a niche that's consistent and then you got your patriots the patriots need you to build up the houses Rep so all of these flag. yeah all of these patriotic commercials that run constantly on their channel so they feel good about yeah i watch fox news i donate to this and i know about this because fox news told me about all these american companies that we're donating to and supporting my pillow and it's money all of this money 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 money, money. money before country doing. exactly it's always been that for the people by the people by the cash it's always been that. Wow. Unless you own the land. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think that this man should never be able to qualify. Based on the evidence, never. When I say never, I mean never you know why be able to money? qualify to run for president. You know why Again. Before country, let me tell you why. Because I know more people who, if they own their land or their house, or even if they're renting in their own home, would more so protect their property from intruders than go out and fight in wars to protect the ideal of America. That's what mm. I'm saying. All right, Diva Court listeners, that's the show for this episode. And we hope he never runs again. And like we say here on Diva Court, we will drink to that. that. We agree. Don't forget, listeners, to look for our episodes each week. Find us on Spotify. Spotify. Apple Podcasts. Apple. <laughs> Yuck, that's and Google Podcasts. Google. Us. Don't forget to look for our videos every week on YouTube. Wednesday is when we push them out for you. This episode is sponsored by Cutie Nails and Spine Midtown. Don't forget to go let a cutie take care. Of you. Hey, cutie. We close the show as we always do with We'll Drink to That. We got to drink to that. <laughs>